In this tutorial video we're going to see how to use Eclipse for first time use, discover its functionalities, browse through its interface etc. Um, so as I'm sure you gathered from the previous video, Eclipse is a, a programming tool that lets you code in the Java language. Um, one of its big functionalities is that it has an inbuilt compiler. Now what that means is uh, you can run and test the programs you write in real time instead of going through let's say a third party program. Um, so what we're going to do now is basically run through the interface. Uh, so as you can see when you first launch Eclipse you're going to arrive on this menu on this window which is the welcome menu. So from this menu you can you have access to the overview of the features, tutorials, samples and you can find out what's new in this latest version <coughs> etc. Um, at the top here you have your normal navigational bar uh, so nothing out of the ordinary here. On the left here you have a column of um, basically you have your workbenches uh, so we have two workbenches the Java EE workbench which is the one we're not going to use so never mind about that but we have uh, the Java workbench that one is the default workbench and that is the one we are going to be use, using to, to code so either you can click on this one here and it will give you a little preview here or you can directly click on workbench in which case you'll have the full window the full screen version uh, that it will be displayed right here so as I explained briefly before this is the Java workbench as you can see it's selected right here this is where we're going to be writing and compiling our code to best represent this I'm going to show you how to um, write a, a small program uh, I'm not going to go through all of the details that will obviously be done in the next couple of videos it's just to give you a better grasp on how uh, Eclipse really works so to write a program simply click on file then on new and then click on Java project naturally you have to give a name to this project so let's name it my first project for example and then click on finish <coughs> you can see the project is displayed on the left here you can have a, a number of projects displayed at the same time uh, to open a project simply click on the arrow here that will expand its contents and then as you can see we have a source folder and a JRE system library we're interested by the source folder so if right click on that then click on new and then click on class Again, all of this will be explained in detail in the next couple of videos, but for now just understand that um, Java uses classes, that's very important. So uh, let's give a name to the class, let's name it Chitoris, for example, and then click on finish. <coughs> so as you can see on the left here we have our class, Chitoris, and in the middle we have the code, uh, or the program as you, if you wish, uh, that belongs to it. So I've already written a program, so I'm going to paste the program directly here. So this is the program. Um, just to explain very briefly, this program, all it wants to do is display um, a sentence. Um, this is the sentence that it has to display. So I'm going to run this program now. To do that, uh, simply click on this icon here make sure that the tutorial class is selected by default it should be so uh, there shouldn't be any problem simply click on OK and at the bottom here you can see that the program the program sorry has been uh, launched executed and it is displaying the sentence that I've asked it to so the program works um, so that is basically how Eclipse works it runs a program and then compiles it uh, sorry it compiles a program and then runs it and it displays the results at the bottom here so now you've understood how Eclipse works uh, you can start programming yourself <coughs> 